What are you doing up there, sir? I'm putting it in the door. Oh, I got the pencil on my mouth, sir. I'm putting it in the door. It's kind of dirty, but I gotta clean it off. It's in there. Let me shut the door. What do you think? I like it. Let me look. I like it. You like it? I do. I think it'll work. I think it's kind of perky. Thanks for helping me. It was a job. Now we gotta put some. I gotta trim around here. Squirt insulation in and then trim it. I guess we have to do that first. The yeah. squirt stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and do that. And guess what I've been doing? You'll never ever guess what I've been doing. <laughs> ah! Sanding. Again. Sanding. Again. I bet you were sanding. <laughs> Was you sanded? What are you doing, man? Cheese in here. Oh man. Well, I like squirt cheese and crackers. Yeah, it's a little bit too small. Here. Yeah, See how good a job. Oh my gosh, it's, it's all over the walls. I know it's gonna pooch. It's gonna pooch out like crazy. But well, that'll be behind the trim anyway. I tuck it in. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not worried about that. I mean, you have to push it back in there. You mean like when you tuck me in at night? Yeah. <laughs> Does that can work upside down like that? Upside down? I mean, right side up. Well, you see it working, don't you? I do. All right, I'm going to All right, what I'm doing now, I've cut all that out, and the trim's going to come around here. So I'm going to have a, about a quarter inch reveal, eighth inch right around in there but this piece goes on the top so this is going to go with a reveal right there but that log has got to be removed to where when all this shrinks down so this will shrink right up into that that right there can you see it good yep yeah so you think you're just going to trim a window out and then you go, well, if my trim's right there, this is going to shrink an inch. Right. And it's going to run into this and break everything. Right. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going along and cutting this out to give it some relief. So you're cutting that back to the same level as the front, as the, of, as the the front, front of the window. Yeah, the frame of the window. Right. Okay. <coughs> we'll have a piece of slip trim. Yeah, see, that'll go like that. We'll and have a piece of slip trim that goes over top over of the it. Over the top of it. Yeah, right. when that's like that, we'll show there'll be that. another three-quarter inch board that'll cover this up. We'll put insulation back in here and do that. Do the exact same thing on the outside. This is my first piece of trim on the windows. I've got my gap here made. Shot in one nail. Looky there. I'm excited. We uh, foamed everything yesterday with uh, some low too. expanding foam to insulate real well. Yeah. We're going to fill that with insulation too on top of the window. Not the foam. Yeah. But just regular insulation. Just fiberglass. They uh, they make a foam block you can put up there, a special, but you have to buy 70 some feet of it. And we don't need that much. No. <laughs> And so now what we go up here is going to be a, a board that will slip past this. So it's going to be a pretty good size board. But as it, as it does shrink, if we want to cut some of it off, I'm, we'll cut some of it off. Right there. Yeah, we'll have to eventually. Yeah. All right. I'll get the rest of it up there and we'll show you. You're gonna put more nails in it though than that, right? <laughs> no. You only showed them putting in one. So how many did you actually put in? I got three in there. Oh, do you? Okay. Is that I enough? Can put more. I don't know. 
You want more? I don't know. I can go crazy, man. I can do steel <laughs> construction. Let's do one. How about this? What if I can hang on it? Oh, that's okay. Okay. I don't know. I'm not a trim carpenter. Let me see. Oh, yeah. I heard a little creak. That was my bones. <laughs> it sounded like it. <laughs> I made some little brass pieces. That's going to close that off. And I made it where it'll slide, slide down when the board slides down. But I'm going to put that right in there. And then put this up there and pre-drill me a hole. And that's what the plans are. So, let's just do this one right here. And we decided to do the, the slip trim with a little bit of a blue live edge. Yep. That's awesome, doesn't it? Yep. Okay. And we're going to put it in with a screw because eventually it's probably going to come down over the edge of the window. So we may have to take it off and shorten the top a little bit. This is going to be a little tricky, but... Okay, as long as nothing moves... We should have it made. This is where you need an extra hand. Instead of me holding the camera, I should be helping you. <laughs> the things we do for you people on YouTube. Oh, they love it though. <laughs> My tip fell off. There it is, boy. Look at that. Now if I can just slide over and do the other one. I'm gonna stick one in the center. Let's hold that right there. Don't help me, dear. I got it. <laughs> All right. Okay, now let's go right there. I'm going to drill this one right here. I just went through the copper. That way, your screw will go, you know, hold plenty of threads in that backboard. This don't fall off. Like that. I don't remember how wide you made it. Put the one in the middle. Yeah, put one in the middle. I'll fold it down a little bit. Is that gonna work? I think so. Yeah, I'm sure glad you're helping. You're laying right in the way. Okay. You just gotta Let's be close right here. <laughs> See how the board's inch. I think I made it an inch. Well, I should hit it right there. <coughs> All right. We got a small gap there, but. Oh, that's all right. It needs to slip down. So. Needs to slip down, so. Okay. Look at there. That's how you close up that notch. That's how we're doing it. If you guys way. got better suggestions, let us know. Probably several ways to do it. That's what we came up with. Well, by the time you see this video, we'll probably <laughs> have it done. Be done. <laughs> I hope. Well, there's what it's going to look like. There's not finished <laughs> products. <laughs> I like it. When we put two heads together, we can do anything. Uh, yeah, we still need to caulk it, but yeah. we haven't. We got to stain it and everything, and let the stain dry real good before we do the caulking. Yeah. It turned out really good.
I like it. I do too. And I've got three inches between our window and the top log, which that gives it that much to sink down. So I made a spacer that'll go right here. And you gotta make sure it stays up three inches because all this is gonna shrink and you don't want it to run into that. So three inches there. What we'll do is we'll shoot this thing on here. Uh-oh. We'll take it back off. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Break that nail off. Let's get it in the gap this time. I had it on top of that. Oh, okay. You wasn't watching me very good. I can't see you through this little tiny... <laughs> little tiny hole. All right, now we'll shoot it on there. I've got a line drawn on here is the reason I'm... I know where it goes. I'm gonna shoot it on there pretty good. All it's holding up is a is this board right here. And as you can see, that sticks out the same. He has to make each one of those custom because that's yep. to stick out the same as the trim. Yep. And, we'll and so that's on. gonna go on there. And I'm just gonna screw this with some little tiny uh, screws, small heads for like cabinetry. And I'll screw that in three spots that way. If this ever comes down so far, I can, below this, I can take it off and cut a little bit off. Yep. But that's what's... Okay. We made a little change. Instead of building it with just this, Cindy come up with the bright idea to leave that tab all the way down. And as you can see, that's gonna seal it off even better back behind the wood. So that's what we're doing. We made that change. So I wanted, to, I wanted to show you that. And it's easier to make. Yeah, it's easier to make. So now, that'll stay up there. Might fall. I'm gonna take my bolt. All right, I cut it off. We're gonna make it flush at the top and overhang about an eighth inch. So I'm gonna drill me a pilot hole. don't need that quite that low. Just need that low enough what covers this. You don't want to go too low. Too low. Alright. Let's go like this. Okay, I broke through the copper and stop after you do that so you got some meat for your screws. And like I say, I'm using these little crap cabinet screws. Show them those little screws. They got a tiny, tiny head on them, so you're not going to hardly even see that. And that way, like you said, we can take them off. Yeah. When this gets down lower and, and wants to come below this, I can take this board off, trim off the top. That'll be especially on the doors because they've got a five inch gap above them. So they'll for sure at some point have there we to come go. off. That's how she's gonna work. And now the middle one, there's no metal, so just we'll put a screw right in the middle. And then I'll put my other piece of copper in. The other side. And that's loose enough where you can just slide that in. You don't have to try to hold up both pieces all at once. Might be a better way out there, I don't know. If it is, I don't know about it. <laughs> so if y'all have a better way, tell me. We 
really couldn't find much information on a good way to do it. So yeah. we sort of had to figure it out ourselves. Yeah. But when we put two heads together, look what we can accomplish. We, we still look at it and go, did we do this? <laughs> but now we get to come back and stain all this. Yeah. I've, got, I've already bought another five gallons of that Outlast, that Q8, what we, what we put on here from Todd. So. Well, you think Cinda's been working? No. She's got a little bit of dust on her. Eating more sawdust today. Let's blow it off. Maybe you don't get nice. Andy, get back. She sanded my boards for me. She's so nice. Trying to speed him up a little bit. Okay, we'll get back to you on that. <laughs> Lots of insulation. You want to make sure you rub this all over your face and arms because it's really nice. I'm just kidding. People that don't know no better, you'll find out if you do. And when the awful itchy when the logs sink we may have to take the trim off and take a little bit out if it doesn't squash down enough but it'll be all right for quite a while oh yeah all right i think i'll put another little bit right there yeah probably don't need it yeah we don't need that don't go crazy all right Andy, are you helping today? You've been a good helper. Short Andy. So I've been keeping all the squirrels away. I know it. Been doing good, Andy. So I had to. Can't have the step back in here in just a minute. Okay, we had to, we had to move Andy's step. Now he can't get in here with me. Yeah, because it's over here where we he had could to, if he really tried. We had to roll it over. He can't jump as good as he did. He used to be able to jump eye to eye with you, straight up, until he hurts back. So I can't jump that high no more. What I'm nailing into is just this right here. No, yes. No log, just, just that trim. That way everything settles and don't tear nothing up. Okay, on this one, he's not gonna have to put a uh, 
spacer up above because the log is already out far enough. Yeah. So you just need that to be level Lesser. with your trim piece. Yeah. Or plumb with it. And it's really, really close. Yeah. So he just sanded it off, got it down where he needed it to be. Got my last video, I mean, my last window for the outside of the trim. So I'm getting ready to do that. And I walked out here, Cindy made me a bowl of soup and she's already got all my wood for, well, she's been doing all the windows. This is my trim. It's all sanded, ready to be put up. How could you ask for anything better? She is one good woman. I've really enjoyed doing this with her. I couldn't have done it without her. She's really helped so much. I love her to death. Anyway, I'm gonna get started on that and I'll video a little bit of it and show you me finishing up on it. It's amazing how each window you got to custom everything because all the logs are completely different. It's a lot of work. I didn't realize how much work it was going to be until I started doing it and how long it was going to take me. Well, guys. I'm putting up the last piece. Thought I'd show you. I'm pretty excited about it. I'll walk around and show you everything else then. All the other trim we put up. There it is. Oh my. All right. There's that window. Got the live edge up at the top and it's that slip. Remember it slips down over the face of that. You gotta remember that. are trimmed out inside and out and so is the doors somebody got this door all sanded down yesterday there's a frame of it looks good i'll put that door back on here just shortly Did you get that? every window's done I'm done. <laughs> yeah, good, I'm so excited. I'm so proud of you. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of work. I never dreamed it would be that tough yeah. with logs to do it the way we did it. But Very custom. Yeah. Every every window was custom on it. Because every log is just different. As you can see, looking back here. Remember, we put a piece of brass behind all of them. We put the top to close it all off. But y'all just slide down with it. Anyway, see if I can get Cindy back to work.
You boys want to go kayaking? You want to go to the lake? We're gonna go to the lake. We'll go to the lake, guys. I mean, I know. We're gonna go to the lake. We're gonna take the kayaks and we're gonna go swimming. <laughs> we're gonna have fun, aren't we? Huh? Right. Well, we're out on Lake Washita. Took this mor morning off. There's Brody. She's my lovely wife. Beautiful day. Beautiful day out here. We're gonna go out to our favorite spot. It'll take us probably about 30 minutes. And then we're gonna cook breakfast. You boys hungry? You guys going an egg? I know. Brody, you hungry? We're gonna eat an egg out here. All right. All right, let's go. Hey, Indy. Your picture. Indy's out swimming already this morning. We stopped at a place before we get to our normal place. He said, I gotta go swimming, Dad. <laughs> you wanna take that deal off? Yeah, Wait just a minute. Better take it off. Is there? Yep. Yeah. See all of them? They got fish on them too. Oh, really? Yep. Little pumpkin seeds, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See that one right there? There's a little fish. I can't see them on there. I can't see them. Right. A little sun perch. Right, right in there's one. And there's one there. There's a little sun perch sitting on them, probably with babies. Gardened our babies. Yep. Over here. Yeah. See, that normally would be down pretty deep. Yeah. Because the water's down. And the water's got to be down seven feet. Have to be careful where we walk so we don't talk to Brody's not crazy about swimming, but he likes getting in when it's shallow like this. That's why we stopped here so he'd have a chance to get used to it. There you go. Good job, Brody. You need to practice your swimming. Uh oh, there's a little fish right here. I'm going to have to move so we don't step on them. I think you're sitting down. Catch him, Brody. What do you think, Brody? Should we go? Should we go catch up with him? All right, let's go. Here comes. 
Mom and Brody. Hang on, Indy. There's some waves out here. I have a hard time keeping up with that lady. We're gonna go around that point over there in probably another five minutes and we'll be to our spot. We'll video some more and show you when we get there. You ready, Indy? All right, let's go. He looked worried. He looked happy. Brody loves a wilderness experience. Dig him a little den bound here in the, in the midst of the trees. Did you find a good spot, Brody? That looks like a pretty nice spot. Good job. Matt's got the fire going this morning. We'll cook him some breakfast. Out here at the lake. Beautiful morning. Just being super lazy today. Super. Super lazy today. Nothing like cooking over a little campfire. Coffee. Probably. She's steaming. She'll be there shortly. Sausage sure smells good. Can you smell it? Yeah. I know it's important. Isn't it? I had a little blowout of my shoe this morning fell apart, so I had to get some paracord and MacGyver it back together. Cause you sure can't walk on these rocks without shoes. See these plants right here? I've seen Cinder take these and make a pair of shoes before. <laughs> a sandal, a literal sandal. It was amazing. That's what I had a lot of time on my hands. Cooked up. There it is, right there. Homemade apple butter, eggs, sausage. Nice hot cup of coffee. Nice cup of coffee. And you can't beat this site right here. Look at them clouds. We're gonna get to eating.
to go swimming with Mama. Come on. Mama's out there swimming. Go out there to Mama. Go swim out to Mama. Go see Mama. There you go. Get, 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 get. 